before we hit the bus? Candy cone. Real good, healthy bio steel. And a little cooking. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. We are on another resort hopping adventure. Friday fun day. Friday fun day. We've just uh, worked over there. It's the Orange Garage. You really can't quite see it. This is where we parked in Disney Springs. We came around to the bus stops. We're in row number seven. I don't know if you can see that down here. Yep, yeah, right here. And we're going to Disney's Wilderness Lodge, a place that either one of us have never been. Yeah. Now, I will say one thing about this particular bus stop. The other ones at the resorts have digital maps to tell you the next bus is in 20 minutes or whatever. This one doesn't. It just tells you where to get in, what line to get in. And as you can see, we're going this one, number seven. There's just a two of us right now. Which either means not many people are going to the Disney Wilderness Lodge or it just left the bus. So yeah. I'm not sure what the story is. But we're going to hang out here. It was our plan to get there today. And uh, we're going to make it work and uh, we'll pick up from wherever we get off the bus right to the... We'll pick up when we get on the bus. How about that? Okay, we are on the bus heading to the Wilderness Lodge. And as you can tell, you can look on the lane to our left out there. That's regular traffic. And you come around regular traffic over there. But in the middle is a section off area just for buses, Disney buses. So there's not much flow problems here except for lights. Kind of cool. Here we are, dropped off. And we're making our way into this just beautiful Wilderness Lodge. Back in here is the parking for guests. We came on the bus. Beautiful walkway. I'm going to try to capture as much of this. It is a Disney property that's considered deluxe. So you're going to pay for it. But you have the resources and that's what you want. Oh, look at this. That looks like some wilderness decided to walk right know. through as they were putting the Water stuff buffalo, down. <laughs> too small for most yeah so this is the overhang for guests to drop their stuff off if it's raining or what have you and as you can tell it's very big and grand and we're going to work our way right through this whole joint i'm on video mode and on picture mode getting pictures of everything you got it. yeah It looks like it's got a little bit of a little bit of a refurbishment going on. Hi there. Thank you. My glass is off. So very much the essence of a cave and dwelling, kind of coming into a cave or coming out of a cave. Whispering Canyon Cafe, we go to our left. Way up top. It's gonna to be hard to get all this place, but we're gonna get it. Many, many levels. One, two, three, four, I'm counting five floors anyway. People coming, people going. And there's a shop right in here. I think we'll go in and shop. We might as well catch everything we can in the lobby area because it's it's very, very pretty. Very pretty. I guess the interpretation of a hot spring. Elevator store, right? And a nice motif on each one of the doors. Very uh, wild west kind of theme. I'm gonna head out there after. <laughs> We'll catch this whole lobby first before we uh, head outside and look at some of these other neat things. So here's the signs for the Wilderness Lodge. So, Territory Lounge would be, I guess, your little bar area. 
Artist Boy Dining. That's another restaurant, Roaring Fork Pool. We'll go check that out. And the guest rooms and cabins are down to our right. Now, associated with the Wilderness Lodge is the Wilderness Campground, which we will try to get out to and uh, take you along to show you what it'd be like if you were of a camping person like we are and wondering if it were worth hauling a trailer, would we end up ever in a Disney resort? I guess the answer for me would probably be yes. And I'm just going to guess, without knowing anything about it, I'm just going to guess that these are going to be pristine campgrounds, camping spots. And still on the hunt for this proper sweat top, so we never know, we could find it in here. That's getting closer, except it doesn't have just the head. Yep. I just want the head. I just want the head. Okay. Well, the ears and the eyes. That's a real interesting Yeah. It's a very big shop, isn't it? Um, we're making waffles. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or oh, pancakes. pancakes or egg omelets. Yes, ma'am. That would be good. Nine ninety nine. Okay. Every just a nice little quick place to grab if you want to use the washroom or anything like that, everything's in here. Yep, there's a set in there's a set on the They're everywhere, of course. Let's start this excursion. Now we're going to come right out this door, which was a long hallway, and I watched people come out. So, to our right here, this was a hallway to the lobby, to our left. And I watched a lot of people come down here, and I don't know what's out here, so let's start this tour outside right here. Oh, wow. One big difference of stepping outside, as opposed to being in the lobby, is it went from beautiful to 90. <laughs> wow. That's an arcade place. That's kind of cool for the kids. Wicked Tuna, we watch that on TV some. So that's just a little breezeway through to the, to the front of the building. Man, let's get a little look just here. I'm sure we're going to get lots of this, but we saw inside what the rooms looked like. Yeah, there was five levels, right. and this is what the outside looked like. And you know what? You get a little bit of room to sit outside. It's kind of nice. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, now we got Boulder Ridge Villas. So that's going to, we're going to walk by them. The health club's down there. Bike and bulk rentals, we're going to go over there. So, this is called the Boulder Ridge Villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. So. Now, here's your running trails. Now this is something and I would have been, uh, nice. would have been all over if we had been here years ago when we could actually run. Yeah, but you can still just, walk it or bike you it. Can, well, yeah, I mean. Just a little outdoor place walk, just to get out half of a here. mile. After being kind of stuck in the house, Sometimes if it's a wet day or something, of course it hasn't rained here in months. So but, it's you know, also shared by golf carts too, so. Okay, gotta be careful. Okay, we'll take a walk, walk along. Welcome home, members. And all our guests. Perfect, beautiful. Back to the air conditioning, which is nice. Here's a scenic line of the Old West. And right in here, what is this thing here doing? This looks like some type of interactive thing for kids to do. Oh, cute. Touch here. So you can play stuff, like if you want to play, let's say, XLs. Oh, nice. <laughs> Tic tac toe, there you go. Okay. I don't know how to play it. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Okay, you go first if you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, got a 
block that one. Gotta block that one. Gotta block that one. And that one. I think we're stumped. <laughs> yeah, we're stumped. Good. Nobody that's wins. a tie, so that's we both get to go home tonight yeah, together. No fighting. Good, that's a good thing. Perfect. Okay. Ties are good. <laughs> okay, we just came back outside. So here's your big pool area. I don't know how many there are, but this is certainly the first one. So we're by the, I guess it's called the Boulder Ridge Cove. Yeah. So that's the big pool and there must be some more. And there's yeah, there's another one, we'll go around to that Springs. one. Yeah. So we're- This is the main lobby area. Yeah. And then these cabins. So, so here's your pool area. Lots of shade. Yeah, right here. shade. You know, for a big resort, it's it's not the biggest pool in the world. It's functional, definitely functional. But it's not the biggest pool in the no. world. No. So the sports courts around the back, and cabin parking is around back. This is, these are the cabins. That's right. But to our left is where we want to go. I want to see the bike and boat rentals. Cascade cab cabins are the next way. Plus the Geyser Point Bar and Grill. I knew there had to be some eats here. Canyon is the main, it's a big buffet that's in the Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Popular. Now yeah, we're not sure if we can get in here or not. But it is an open house. There's usually somebody there. Maybe you got to scan something. No, I guess we can't get in. No. no, that's okay. We got lots to explore. I think you'd have to make an appointment and they would come and tour maybe. If you look, there's one of the bedrooms just from the window. And uh, there's this cot on this side. So you know you got at least two bedrooms. Uh, one bedroom would be good and probably a, a third. But if you look at the... Probably yeah. go around that. I'm just going to look on this side. Maybe there's a way to... Sure. Just to get a look at the view. Kind of walking on the outside of the of these holes, of these cottages. And they have their own little hot tub, picnic table, and then of course you got this view back here, all fenced in at night, so you can't get any mosquitoes. Very nice. Cascade Cabin. That's where we just walked through. And those are beautiful, beautiful cabins. And again, like I said, this is the back side of the main lobby. That one's called the Boulder Ridge Cove, right there. That's where the pool was, we were on the other side. Boulder Ridge Mining and Railway. Fishing at the lodge. for you fishermen out there. Boulder Ridge Railway and Mining Company, that's the theme. So there's your little fishing by the lake set up. I don't know how that works. It looks like it's closed right now. But I'm sure there's a thing there somewhere to tell you when everything opens. Now this is called Reunion Station. I don't know what that is. Oh, there we go. See how the cornhole expert does. Whoa! Oh! No, oh. oh, you hit the board. No, it's harder than it looks.
He's strong today. Oh, close. Okay, we're on the back side of Reunion Station. And here, of course, is your, uh, is your, uh, I'm not sure the exact name, but it's on the side. It's a restaurant for eating, lunch, it's all shaded, beautiful. On the back side of the pool. Geyser Point Bar and Grill. That's what it's called. Very nice. Pretty popular place today. It's pretty hot. Okay, we just came from where the restaurant was on the water. And we're coming around here now to the other pool of this resort, which is called Copper Creek Creek Springs. It has its own area, as you can see here, where the rooms are. Its own pool. It's uh, fairly... open, I guess, and uh, quite a few towels all set up there, very nice. Uh, it looks pretty busy, though, isn't it? Yeah. We'll walk around the other side and see what's there. But it's nice. It's a nice place. So over here, we'll see a sign. Oh, we just came from the Geyser Point Bar and Grill. But over here says boat transportation. So these boats are obviously going to take you someplace. We'll just kind of kind of figure out where, I guess. So this way is the main lobby, Roaring Fork, bike and boat rentals, Boulder Ridge Villas, and Cascades is the way we just came. So we have the... Maybe this is another option of transportation that we weren't aware of. You know, what would be wrong with uh, taking a boat? And not right now, because we want to do some more stuff. Take a little walk out. Oh, it goes to Magical Kingdom. Magic Kingdom? Okay. okay. I'll just read the signs when we get up. So, I guess one way of not having to drive over to the Magic Kingdom to get your park pass, you just get on there and away you go. Blue Fag to Disney's Fort Wilderness Resorts and Campground oh. and Disney's Contemporary yeah, Resort. That's exactly right. We need, we need the Blue Flag boat to get to the campground. So, how else would we and get there? Otherwise, we can't get there. Other than that, that well, this only operates from 3 to 10.45, so we're all going to have to walk. 3 p.m. to 10.45. I don't think you can walk. I'm not, I don't think. I think it's all... Maybe we won't get to the campground today, then. Maybe, maybe not. You know, but this one here, red flag, or whatever you call it, it goes to the Magic Kingdom. That makes sense. Yeah, it looks like we got a little path. Now we're coming back around by the cabins. Oh, well, these are called Cascade Cabins, but maybe yeah. we're a different group, you mean? Yes. Exactly. Oh, there oh. Yep. Fair prints. <laughs> okay, so earlier, yeah, so earlier, uh, we walked, these were the outside cabins that I, I walked around back on. These are the original ones we came in right. on. Right, yep. We've been to both pools. Yes. Right? And this are the ones we're on now. Yes. And we're going to continue around here to the right. Yep. And we should make our way into the main... Uh, oh. Yeah, the main area of the lobby again that we came to. And from there, hopefully we can figure out about uh, getting to the campground. But I don't think we're going to be successful yeah. in that. Okay, we came up the seventh floor. Top of those teepees. And we'll see over there. How large everything is. It gives you an idea of the depth on the seventh floor, 654. See a little uh, sitting area over there above the grand entrance. It's pretty darn big in here. But I will say one thing, we're such a big open space, it is nice and cool. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice for cooling off. It's a very, very chill place, I can tell. People are sitting down on their phones, all by themselves. Some people are working. Just kind of chill. Just checking in. 
just checking in now. So anyway, that is all for here. Yeah. We have been through the outside all around. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to get over to the to the campground, like I explained a little earlier, but that's okay. Yeah. We got the resort, and now if we have time today, we're going to try to grab a bus back to Disney Springs. outside of the Disney's <laughs> contemporary resort so we're gonna look at that one today and take a walk through and the bus, we the bus and, just and, happened to be coming this way so we uh, decided to do this one there's your monorail going through it goes right through the middle of this resort which we're gonna go into so that's kind of cool yeah. Yeah. so it's made up of buildings and different towers. So this is called the Bay Lake Tower and it's in a circle as you can tell. And the main lobby and the monorail is over to our right. So we'll take a look around the outside because this, uh, this building over here, this tower, is just rooms. Now there is a walkway in between. Maybe we'll do that when we walk by the upstairs of the Contemporary. So here's a good picture of it, right here. Give you an idea. This is the Bay Lake Tower I was talking about. That's the main tower, contemporary. We're gonna go in there, that's where the monorail comes through. There's a convention area, it's right on the water. So we'll get a good look at all this for everybody. Yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah. Very, there's a Mickey ears all done in flowers. Oh, it's so cute. Two of them. pools and all kinds of water slide over there it looks like so we'll get to all that as we walk around this resort and over here I'll just walk over is looks like a little well I was going to say a beach but it's not really a beach it's just a small little area I guess for hanging out getting some sun and they got a little bit of light music playing in the background here. Again, very, very nice. I would say another one of these towers, they're nice. But speaking of towers, let's get over and uh, get a look at this contemporary. It's been there a lot of years and it's been uh, a big uh, draw. Mostly, I think, because the monorail comes through and we'll, uh, we'll look at that. And the rest of the rooms, you can see they all have balconies on the outside. Pools to the left, maybe we'll hit there first, just because we're outside. <laughs> hey, walking down to the front of the Contemporary. And you've seen the front sign here, it says Convention Center, so obviously set up for all types of types of events. And we will go into the main lobby and all of that in a bit. Right now, we want to take a look at some of this outdoor stuff. Cute. That's cute, yeah. Disney photographer taking some pictures of the kids. And there's what they call the sandbar. So it's a little, little restaurant there for getting some food. I'll we'll take a walk out. And, uh, although I did show you from the other side over here a little bit in regards to looking out over the water. This is your main entryway through. Washrooms. Place to eat. Cool. Very nice. It's called Lakeside Landing. So kind of neat pool table right out there. Oh yeah. And then over here is another uh, pool area, and it looks to me like it might be a private event. Congratulations in the corner, might be a wedding or something. But it doesn't, it doesn't look private, so I mean, it doesn't look in the sense that we can't go over there, so we'll take a look over. I'm gonna walk all over here and watch pictures. Okay.
Okay, we're just off the pier, coming down. And we're gonna take a look at the pools. This pool here, I believe, is uh, more of a quiet pool. Maybe it's an adult only, although I don't see any signs for it, but I don't see any children here, so I'm assuming, you know. Just a nice quiet little pool. Yeah. And over here looks like your kids' pool or your more acting pool. Towels, of course. Volleyball courts. Sand. The whole deal. And it is hot. And one of this place is happening today. A great little place here, right on the water. It's you know, beautiful. I had no idea it was this pretty back here. Yeah. And it's all in the square, so just so it makes an idea. From this corner here, all the way along, it comes across to the contemporary, and then the west, the west uh, section is over there. So it's all in kind of a U. And we're going to go in the middle now and take a good look at the center. We just came back from the pier, walking through the middle, and then we're going to head uh, into the main lobby. Let's get a look. Oh, baby, that is nice and cool. Women's History Month. Disney is celebrating that. Celebrate your story. Yeah. All women of the world. And beautiful. It uh, looks like some nice artwork. All along the walls inside the lobby. Very clean as expected. Hall, Cabana Rentals out there, we saw those. Just fit the center of the third floor, sports courts, pickleball courts, we didn't see that. Little activities they have around here. <laughs> so this is your, we came in the side entrance from the, from the Disney buses. This is your name, I should say. I guess it's the same. Really, I'll just take a look out here, but there's really nothing grand, I don't believe, about the entrance. Might be. We'll take a look. There's uh, your convention centers over there as well. about it yeah but nice yeah, okay yes there's your morning quick serve contemporary grounds everybody likes to have that in the morning for sure California Grill, I've heard of both. That one's very yeah, popular. Very popular. Right? Chef Mickey's is here too. Yeah. That's character dining. That's a lot of fun for the kids. Yeah. Nice little place. They're nice, uh, nice check-in area.
Nossa, eu passei no ano, né? Open for lunch. A very, very popular restaurant. Very, very nice. Okay, I'll take yes to it. I got a feeling I know who's gonna win. And it's not gonna be me. Hey, no running. No running up there. Find out. <laughs> so we're on the second floor, which is the banquet meeting rooms. And we want to go up the escalator to the fourth floor. So. Down here is all of your convention centers. For anybody that's counting, that's uh, level four is uh, the main main level for a uh, monorail. So if you watch some other YouTube vloggers on Disney, you would have heard of Chef Mickey's, I'm sure. Very, very popular place. So everything's happening on the fourth floor. You got a place called the Outer Rim, which gets you a place to sit outside and watch. Then you have Chef Mickey's, which I say is character dining in a in a buffet style. And then you have Con Contempo Cafe, which I guess is your quick serve for lunch. That kind of thing. This is all I guess. See all some of the room corridors. Yeah, we'll get up there. Very, very nice. I guess Anne's heading in, so I think it's just a dead end bar, but take a look in the Contempo Cafe and see what they got. You order one of those places you order and they call your name. It says please take cashier, please. Place your order and bring the food out to you. One of those little buzzers. Oh, they got some cute stuff here. Desserts, salads. I'm a little skeptical of salads from some experiences we've had here so far, but to maybe today is different. Well, there's a, a big feature. It's also nice. What color you are? Okay, let's move over to the middle. Okay. So these are your shops. It'll be more of your Disney shops. the monorail. I'm not sure how the monorail works, but we're going to go up there and ask. Okay, we just went through screening at the monorail, talked to the gentleman, and we can get on the monorail and go a complete loop around the whole cycle. Again, another activity at Disney for free. We haven't paid a dime yet, so if anybody looking for stuff that's kind of cool. We missed this monorail. Okay, so we're going to get on it. It's going to take us all around. Hopefully get a little footage for everybody. This is a, this is quite fun. This is quite exciting. And we'll come back whenever the monorail pulls in. I know we will, and uh, set it up on the window.
Okay, we just got off the monorail and we wanted to take a little loop outside and we realized there was a door open. A little observation area here and it gives you a little observation area of the castle. So anytime you get an opportunity to take a picture of the castle, you do it. And that's where we're headed. So I guess this is also a place some people probably sneak out to at night to watch the fireworks, right? This is just a bonus right here. I know on my camera you can't see it very well, but Anne might be able to pan in on hers. There's the grand flow over there. We went by it on the monorail. This has turned out to be quite a quite a little spot. Very, very impressed with one of the original, you know, one of the original Disney resorts. It's been around here forever, but it's just uh, still well kept up and well themed. Over there, we came around the corner. I didn't get a lot of footage of Disney World because I, I was on the wrong side of the monorail. But I wouldn't have got too much anyway, just that nice picture right there of the, of the castle. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed our day today. Yeah. We, uh, we got a lot more done than we thought we were going to do. We got uh, uh, two of the larger resorts done. Managed to travel on buses, managed to travel on monorails, didn't have the Skyliner this trip, but for more footage like this, I, I hope you come back to the channel. I hope you like and subscribe, and uh, until the next keep, time. We're going to keep resort hopping. We're going to keep resort hopping for another about three weeks left, two and a half weeks left, and we'll, uh, you know, hopefully how get some information. You, how can you pass up an opportunity to walk around a resort like this? That's it's right. It's beautiful. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye.